Ding, 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 ding. Yes, howdy do, and I mentioned this in the last episode, but I, I said, could we steal the Top of Morning Bell? And it wasn't really a, a stealing, it was more of a, a mutual understanding between Ireland and the, the USG. But yes, the, we, we have the Top of Morning Bell now, it's, it's part of an alliance. See, what, what you didn't know is we met, we met, I met with Jack, and if, he, if you ask him, he won't say it happened, and that's part of the whole idea, it's supposed to be a classified thing, but if you ask him... He's gonna say it didn't happen because that would make sense. And if I say it happens, it also makes sense because it just seemed like I'm grabbing. So it's all believable. But yes, in fact, it's it's currently on loan here while we kind of set up some things. And you might have already noticed, and I'm kind of I'm kind of I don't know if I want to show you yet. I kind of have to. You may have noticed we're kind of back at the spawn area. I'm not saying I died three times, and maybe in one of those times I spawned at spawn. I'm just saying I died three times and one of those times I spawned at spawn. Just let me explain because what I, I, I did go and like get all of our stuff from the chest and whatnot because I came to the realization that apparently uh, this biome that we spawned in at the start is a really rare biome. There's a spider cave over there where the cat was stuck in. There's a swamp with the golden lava sheep from episode three. Apparently this is a very rare biome, especially when it has trees growing on top of it. So once I got back here, I was like, well, why not just set up shop around here? Because if that's the case, I should take advantage of that. I should be able to do something with that. And what I did was I, I had a talk with Jack Jacksepticeye, and we now have the Top of Morning Bell on loan while they prepare to do some other stuff for the coming October. And then they can have it back when they get back to doing their stuff with their castle, their Sam castle. So that being said, though, it's not all to waste. We did build a house here. Well, it wasn't going to be our house, and we had a basement. And then a bunch of giant spiders spawned in the basement, and per rule, you just burn the house down and you leave. So I left here. Uh, I made a little dock area, because around here is a lot of sunken ships and sunken treasure. So we had a lot of the treasure we originally got, and I got it back from way far away. I, that, was, that took literally two hours both back ways, and so that was wild. But along a lot of these, and they haven't generated, but there's a lot of mountains and stuff that have a lot of, like, diorite and granite and stuff like that. So I decided to keep that house as kind of like a, a spawn house slash workhouse slash storage house. And I'm kind of building the tower that I talked about building way over here. So here is that tower so far. Now it's one story here, but it goes underground because all both of these areas, if you remember from the first episode in Spawn, were covered in trees. Funny story happened. Remember how I called this place the Mushroom Kingdom? Because it has those like mushroom look, giant mushroom looking uh, stuff right here. There was a fire. I'm not saying Bowser attacked. I'm saying Bowser attacked, though, and it just kind of just flattened a lot of this area. And since it was flattened, I was like, I kind of want to set up a shop over here then, or a house, so to speak. So if we come in here, I'll just show you guys really quick before we really kick off the episode of what we're going to do today, though. I have my bed in here now. Like I said, there was a ton of polished granite and diorite along the mountains. Maybe I'll show you guys at some point. And then I decided to make a water elevator. So this second floor... Is going to be a vault floor, and when I say vault, I mean it's just going to be full of chests where I can store a bunch of items as we get them. I'll move the diamonds and stuff that I've gotten from over there eventually under here. A bit more protection. Only problem is along this wall and this wall is apparently a bunch of caves where you can hear creepers like every time you get close to them. And he... I guess they're having a moment. Uh, long story short, this is our bat cave which has a water tunnel for a boat to leave out the bottom of the side of the mountain. Okay, there we go. We're just going to leave them alone. So yes, turns out... You can, in fact, take the top of Morning Bell. And what's also kind of interesting about that, too, is like uh, recently, I guess recently for me, the show might have been going on for a long time. Uh, on, and I guess it makes sense with Disney and stuff. Disney is an MCN as much as everything else that it owns everything else. As you probably, maybe someone in your family is probably owned by Disney at this point. They own some of everything. And the MCN, it might be the one that Jack belongs to, too, but there's an episode, there's like a show on Disney XD, and it's just showing like different clips from Let's Players playing through certain games. And so story time that you didn't ask for, but you're getting now. Uh, I went out to just get something from the kitchen, and so my sister was out in the living room watching this show on the TV in the living room. Makes sense. Uh, and suddenly I just hear loud Irish noises, and I'm like, I recognize those loud Irish noises, and sure enough, on the TV is Jack doing his entrance, his top of the morning. Uh, <coughs> I can't I can't do that. I cannot do that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's not steal the entire man's idea. But yeah, it, it was that. And it was, it, what made it more funny, though, was that happened the first time I went out there to get something. But it, it's the summer recently. And even here, where it's not supposed to be all that hot, it was hot. 
So I'm constantly going out there to get something to drink cold, water, of course, stay hydrated. And literally every time on cue, and my sister's not doing this, she's not like pausing it and playing it when I come out there to get something to like drink. It's just every time exactly when I came out there, it was him on the TV doing his thing. And it just got funny after a while. So she can actually do a pretty good top of the morning to you. I can't. It hurts my throat. I don't know how he does that constantly. Except for the fact that he puts a lot more energy behind uh, doing it than I do. I kind of, I didn't really even go full on with that one. And that already kind of hurt my throat a little bit. I'm kind of concerned. Maybe I need to make sure I'd, uh, I don't put my throat out since this episode might be another 30 to who knows how long thing. Because we do have some plans today. I said I wasn't going to do another episode until we can make some meaningful progress. And like, since we saw before, we did get a diamond pickaxe. Oh, there's a zombie. You can hear my... That's why this iron golem's here. So this is a spawn village where we stole the bed from in like the first episode. There's like the hut over there is where the bed came from. But over here, there's like the crafting table. I'll show you guys real quick while I'm explaining what we're doing for today's video. Uh, but yes, over here... And, I, and that's what I mean. A lot of trees got cleared by the fire. I did put it out eventually when I could catch up to it. But you know, you also can burn to death trying to do that. So that's something I learned the hard way. Here's like the crafting table when we died like the second time or whatever, right? Like this is the village and for some reason in our absence about 17 iron golems have spawned in this village. It's fine by me because this place has been attacked by pillagers while I was setting all this up at least three times. Not even a full on raid, just pillagers though, three times. When the island golems and me were able to repel them, I learned how to make a shield as you might have noticed. I finally figured out how to do that. It took me forever. Uh, yes, but as you see... We have obsidian because we have a diamond pickaxe and over there in the mountains that I should really show you guys at some point is also lava falls. So I have a bucket. It was really easy to make a bucket because we had iron from like the beginning episodes and I just made a bucket, got some iron and then did the stuff with the water, mined some obsidian and boy does it take a while for the diamond pickaxe to do that unless it's enchanted, which I don't have enchanting stuff or whatnot yet anyways. But basically, yes, if, if, if you're going ahead of me, we're going to be going into the nether for this episode. I kind of wanted to do all that stuff prior because I just thought it was kind of funny, right? So it's like, you know, I kind of did a narrative there, a narrative. I can't say words. Narrative about, you know, can we take the top of Morning Bell? Is that okay? Can we do that? And so now we have one country to another, but it's an allyship. And like I said, don't ask them about it. Don't tweet them if it actually happened, because again, by the rules of the classification, he has to say it didn't happen. And I'm the one that's supposed to say it happens. Because then it's believable that it didn't happen. Perfect. Top of the morning to you. My name isn't Jack Jacksepticeye, but welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. In which case, I'm waiting for the sun to set so I can go to sleep. And we'll be venturing into the nether. I do have flint and steel somewhere. I'm going to have to find it. And, th boy, this will be a first time. Like, I, I, and I mentioned this in the first episode, I briefly played the survival mode, like, once in 2011, but I really kind of swapped to the creative mode, that the creative person in me just wanted to do stuff in the creative mode. And I never really, so a lot of the stuff that we're doing in this adventure is my first time actually ever doing it, like, for reals, even though I've been playing the game technically for eight years, by that logic. I do have Flint and Steel somewhere. I did do a little bit of preparation prior, though. Let's, where is my... Uh, darn. I kind of just put stuff everywhere. There's, like I said, and I, I really feel bad that I'm not showing you guys, but I know in past episodes, I've just consumed a lot of empty time rambling, and I kind of want to stop doing that. But there's, like, like I said, there's the mountains over there. There's, it's just, they're literally oozing with materials. And as much as I love the winter base, and the winter base isn't abandoned, we're eventually going to go back and set up shop there, too. Uh, probably maybe for, like, a Christmas episode return or something like that, I promise. Because some people really did like the ice biome that we found in the last episode. So we will do that, but, like, this spawn, they spawned us on top of, like, a landmine of resources, right? Like, that, like, rare biome over there, the plateau, or mess of biome, as they call it, Gold is at, like, ground elevation. Like, usually you have to dig pretty deep to just to get to gold, let alone diamond. Gold is at, like, ground level inside those places. So it's just like, well, if that's going to be the case, as much as I've been dying and being unlucky and exploring more than I probably should anyways, I think it would be a good idea to at least set up our base for this adventure at spawn so that we can keep the episodes rolling a bit, right? Like, I got all this set up in just a short amount of time. I say short amount of time. It's been several days, but still... Because I went back to here and just there's so many resources and stuff to use. Hopefully I'll make the rest of the episodes more entertaining. No one's really giving me that feedback. Oh. Oh, I hate that. But I also love that. I hate that because I'm not going to take this in here. I only have... I hear a skeleton. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Cool. We're out of here. See you later. But uh, the point I was going to say just real quick was just like... 
it, for for the sake of the series, one thing that's nice about coming back here is finding out there's just so many resources. And also, if pillagers eventually come here and I defeat one and it has the flag and it drops it, I think that starts a raid. Like, we did pick one up, and I'm not going to do it right now because I don't think I'm prepared for a raid. But I think that's what starts a raid is you have one of their flags from the leader and you go into the village, right? Uh, well, we have like 17 iron golems. So I, I think we're going to win if it comes to that, actually. So I'm not really too worried. Yeah, one of these, the Ominous Banner. I think if I carry that just over this hill, uh, pillagers will come, and it'll be raid waves, but we got, like, all them big boys right there just ready to smack everything, except creepers. They don't really mess with creepers, which is unfortunate, because that's actually how this whole part of the mountain got blown out over here. I went to sleep, and then a uh, creeper just blew up one of the giants, and I was just like, man, that sucks. But yes, that is what this episode is about to be. We're just going to go for our first time into... The Nether, and I. The only thing I know is that if you don't attack the zombie pigmen, they won't attack you. I don't know anything else, which is why I'm bringing torches. I have an iron sword. I have a spare shield. I have bread. I don't have potatoes. I should probably get those, but you know what? All right, here. Here, here we go. I. Hmm. Don't like that. It's one thing when you're watching other people play through the game. It's another thing when you're like having it on your full screen yourself. It's like, hmm. Okay. Loading terrain. It's taking a while. I don't... Oh. Oh, no. I absolutely... I absolutely... I, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. So I brought torches to kind of leave a breadcrumb trail. I don't know if coordinates work down here. They kind of do. So the coordinates for where our portal is... Our portal. Our portal. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, is negative 43 by 58 by negative 43. That should be pretty simple to remember, but just in case it's not, right? We're just gonna put some torches down. You go right here. What, what, why? Why would you, I could have just died. I could have just died Jacksepticeye style. He'll be the thematic for this episode. I'm, I would be sorry, but it's not like he's ever gonna see this. So it's not like an insult that's gonna matter. Uh, and it's not really even an insult if it's the truth. But I, they just spawned me right here and then they let the lava generate down here. I almost went this way and just died in the lava, which would have actually been, Kind of fine. That's the one thing I haven't died to at this point is lava, and so it's like, okay, cool. Uh, but I don't. Are they allowed to do that? Because it, it. I don't, I don't know. I guess I gotta look up and just watch for some places it rains acid, some places it just pours lava. All right, got you. Where are we even trying to go? Like I came in here, and then I didn't think about why I wanted to come in here outside of the fact that I wanted. To... Excuse me. I don't like that sound really don't like that sound I don't can I put this out with my hands my bare hands yes I can good good I'm gonna need whatever that is to just stop I I don't like that I don't I don't know if I want to put out the fire too because it is lighting places but I figure down here things are just gonna spawn anyways we're in the nether I hate that I hate that that's kind of what I was alluding it's kind of what I was alluding to it's one thing when you're watching it it's another thing when you're experiencing it, because hearing that now in full sound... Oh, 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 oh. You don't want it. I'm just gonna let you know right now. I've died to some of everything, but you're not about to be one of them. I'm just deciding if I want to waste arrows on you, though. The answer is yes, I do. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, actually, that hurt. Never mind, I take it back. I talk a big talk. I don't walk a big walk. I... We're just gonna go over here, because I want to see if you shoot the zombie pigmen, will they kind of target you? Can I even get higher? I need to get higher. I can't. Am my arrows not hitting? I know I have to... Maybe it's just... Maybe that thing's bigger than I think it is, and so it's further out than I think it is. No, it just keeps going higher, and I can't... How are you gonna pick a beef? Okay, Obi-Wan, you have the high ground. I get it, but I don't have to... There, I got you now, huh? Nope, I don't got but so many arrows. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, did I just do it? Did I? Nope. No, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be fine. We're not, we're not gonna be fine. We might die. This is it, ain't it? I can't make it back to the portal, can I? You know, sometimes in this line of work, you you have to do what would be entertaining to the masses. You, you, gotta, you gotta please your audience. And I figured 
we, we're checking everything off the, the box, the list, the box, the list, the list box, the box of lists, the list of boxes. And that was one of them, die in the nether to, to a ghastly. I technically burned to death, but I think it was because I got struck by a fireball. I'm 90% sure that's what it was. Oh, I'm also an idiot. I just realized that's the whole, oh, well, I'm dumb because I had armor and I had things like this and I was supposed to put it on and I forgot to even mention it before I went in. So I deserve that whole sequence of stuff. I have frost walkers and I don't know if that works near lava. We're going to find out together because then I can't die to lava. Okay. Apparently it doesn't work near lava. Never mind. Oh, it's still there. Oh, they're still there. No. I know you're not hostile. I know you're not hostile. I'm not going to attack you. Don't worry. Dang, okay. What's up, though? How you doing? You wanted to steal my stuff, but I came back too fast. I get it. That's how it works. Oh, this is literally the Inferno. No Dante. Uh, where do we even want to go? Okay, so that's what I got to figure out. Where do we want to go? We are facing... This is north. <clears throat> That's always been a good direction for us. That's not been full of death. So let's just go north and let's see what happens. What I was going to do before I got rudely interrupted by flying ghost of death up there was there was something over here that looked like it was mineable. And I do have an iron pickaxe. Iron is something we're coming across a bit more often than we used to. So we can actually like... Oh, what is this music? That's very ominous. Is this just the death? That is the death. All right, cool. Sick. Don't want that. Don't want any part of that. Can we mine those? If I can get down there. Okay. And there's glowstone. I know glowstone from creative mode. That's what you actually want to use to light stuff up. It's so much effective into builds and maybe torches everywhere. Just can't build on torch. Oh, no, I don't want to go through there. Oh, you can just... Whoosh. Cool. Where do I want to... Do I want to? Because now that I've died, I'm a bit concerned about my ability to navigate this. Ego aside. Like, if I go down, can I even come up right here? Is that is that a, is that a thing? It kind of is. Up until there. I want to see if I can get over there and then maybe build down to there. That's what I actually should want to do. Hold on. Are you just going to be like this all the whole time? Or do you just... I think you're really upset that you couldn't take my stuff. And I, I feel for you. I don't know how it really is like for y'all down here. But maybe that's like a really... That's like the pigman's one joy. Someone coming down to the nether dying. They could be like, hey, I need some new shoes. And I don't get new shoes now. Because this dude came back in like two seconds. Because it was planned. Like everything is. That I do, obviously. Even if I just make the plan up as I go. I don't know what this is exactly, but I know I want... I hear that dumb thing again. I don't like it. Oh, this music, though. I kind of like this music, though. Oh, uh, nope, there's that thing again. I don't know. I kind of want to fight it again. I think I was doing okay. I think I was doing all right. I think I was wearing it down. I think it didn't, it didn't want this fight. That's why I had to. That's why I had to try and blow me into the lava because it knew it was going to eventually lose a prolonged fight. It's like Batman versus anybody. If you if you fight Batman long enough, he'll figure out how to defeat you. That's just how it works. That's how this was. He's he's afraid. He doesn't like Batman. I get it. I'm gonna pick a fight with you. Come here. Hey, hey, oi. Yeah, that's my point. Come here. I'm not done with you. I wasn't done with you. <laughs> you were done with me. I ain't done with you. Give me this. I don't know what that is, but I want it, and I'm taking it because I'm allowed to. What I get? What? What? What is it? Is it good? A ghast tear. Now I'm not so sure about crafting and enchanting and, and stuff, but I, I'm pretty sure that's something that's valuable. That's why you would probably farm that particular enemy, right? Is because you want tears. They're tears to bathe in and then sell as bath water. So, with that being said, I'm opening a shop. Thirty dollars. You want some ghast? Tears, bath water. I'll probably make a discount depending on if that sounds like a bit too expensive for such a ridiculous idea. Probably not. Someone's probably done that idea before in the real world. 
kind of want glowstone. I think if I break these, they'll turn into powder, but I still, like, can... Oh, that's... That's that's just... Let's just go like that. Can I get back up if I go down? Yeah, yeah, I can. Do I have to break it with this to get the... Oh, yes, there we go. New recipes. Also, I need to talk stronger. There's sometimes in past recordings where it's like, my voice kind of trails off a little bit, and I don't mean to do that, but it, it does. That's something I could work on. I'm always looking for self-improvement. That's a good self-improvement. I don't want to farm this. And do I want to farm all of it? No. Because I do want this to light up part. Something just spawned. Oh, the, the music in the nether is even worse than underground in the overworld. I didn't know that was possible. Uh, it's kind of like seeing a unicorn for the first time. It's like, I guess it is uh, possible. And I don't like that. Except unicorns are alright. So I don't mind them. But, but this? This, uh... How many am I getting for that? Five? I think five do what? Can I... Is that how you make the glowstone? Ah, so it's four per thing, though. So I can have one singular glowstone at this point. I'd have to farm quite a bit more of this stuff to, uh... Yeah, to get to... To get a whole thing of it to light up our base that we're trying to make. And I want to use it because, like, you can build it into the walls and stuff. Like I said, torches and stuff can kind of get in the way, depending on how many stuff you want to put on a floor. And maybe we don't put a lot of stuff in the vault, but, like, as we're building up and stuff, I want to, like, use glowstone and the corners for pillars and stuff. I, I have this I have this vision for what I want the, the capital of the USG to look like. And I, I see it in my head, and I want to make it a reality. Uh, so it's going to be, and there we go. Now, one thing I don't think we're going to be able to really find, and because I'm not using my torches properly, there's supposed to be like a trail. But I can still see the portal. The portal's still over there. It, we have the coordinates. It's, 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 it's there. The coordinates. Right, right. Some. I believe. Ne negative. 43, 58, negative 43. Yes. Okay, cool. We'll find we'll be fine. Let's just let's just go off into an adventure. Let's just let's just No, okay, that's not I thought that was something cool. I've been here though, so we're gonna put some stuff down. Uh that'd be good. Like all these torches I brought for the nether. That's literally what I brought all these for was for the nether. So if I'm not using them in the nether, they're not being used anywhere else at this point. It feels like a waste. I, I should I should use them. No, you guys aren't, you're not Endermen, right? You don't attack me just from looking at you, right? Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? You doing fine? How? Yeah, see, they're cool. They're cool people. You just, you just, you just don't, you don't mess with them. They don't bring up bacon. He made a noise immediately when I said that. I don't like that. We're just... What are we trying to find? Let's find something. I don't know. Let's actually legitimately find... Something. I don't know. We've died at this point, so, like, saving my levels... Aw, oh, heck, I hear it. Okay, see, I was ready to fight the other one. Not so much ready to fight you, because I'm out of arrows. Wow, that's actually even worse than if he would have kept fighting me. He just disappears behind a mountain. He's like, okay. Wait, did you blow up my torch? No, my torch is up there. Okay. Uh, boop. Uh, oh, jeez. Part of me is a little concerned. I kind of wish I would have went in here with nothing, actually. And so then I could just be, like, free of fear. And I could just explore. And then if something really bad happens, it's like, well, that sucks. But I didn't really lose anything, you know? Because right now, I'm, a, I'm, like, a little paranoid. I know I said that first beginning part was for entertainment's sake. But, like, you know, just let me th float an idea to you guys. Like, what if it wasn't? What if I actually would just perform that pretty badly? Then it's something I need to be worried about. Not saying that's actually what happened though, because it's, it's not. Obviously, that was like that was that was that was for you guys to laugh at me, and have fun, totally. But if it wasn't, then I need to. Oh man, I need more. I needed should I should have brought like dirt or something to to be able to build stuff out with. That's what I should have brought actually. Um, something to be able to. Something able to sleep at night listening to those things making noise below me. I don't like that. So I'm guessing this is experience. I can get experience back by farming this. Not much I do know. But can I get... Actually, I can just break these blocks and then I have blocks to... I didn't need to bring anything. I just do this, right? Let me make a bridge, like, right here. Just connect this. 
Uh, maybe we'll do that instead. Okay, I need, I need a few more blocks before I feel safe. I'll never feel safe in the nether, but, you know. Ooh. Can we build this out even more? I think I'm going to build this out until it's an entire city. Yeah, of course. Can I break this with my bare hands? No. No, you need the iron. That's good to know. I need whatever that is to stop making noise below me because I absolutely cannot stand that. I kind of want the I kind of want the music play because that's the one thing that's been missing is like even though I have the music set to on, it hasn't really been playing. Oh, there are Endermen under here. We're not prepared to fight Endermen. I don't think I only just got this shield. I don't really know how to use it. My name. I know we said we're Captain Iron Man, but notice that's not Captain America. Like we can't necessarily deal. Why is there just a thing of light in this corner? Oh, it's just a random fire off in the corner. I mean, I can't deal with Endermen, but like, at least they're not spiders. There's no spiders in the nether, right? There's no like nether spider. I can deal with that. I can deal... I can deal with everything else in this game. I mean, not I can't, unless we're maybe doing blackjack or something like that. But like... I think I can get down there. Okay, this might be the end of the line for here for now, which is fine. Just don't look at the Enderman. That's the thing about the Enderman. You just he doesn't want to be looked at. So just don't look at him. And honestly, he doesn't he doesn't care that much. It's not that deep for him. I don't need Ender Pearls that badly at the moment. I got eleven torches out. I'm trying to see if I can get down to lava level without doing the death. I mean getting down is one thing. It's, it's actually more about can we get back up? Can we get back up? Do okay. Well, we're down now. Oh, okay. So we can go this way, maybe. Yeah, if we want to just have a, like a nice hot bath of misery. The pigment kind of sound like the Price is Right uh, thing when you if you if you mess up a game or like you game <laughs> over or something. Do 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 do. That's what kind of sounds like a little bit to me. What about this? Nope, we don't really want to... Oh, we kind of want to go down there. Kind of. Kind of want to see what's up with that. No, I didn't want to break that. I want to make a staircase, a, a, a makeshift staircase, like, right here. There we go. Now, I don't know. Oh, not again. Didn't I get away from one of you already? Do I... Do you... Ask yourself this question before you spit your first fireball. Do you want this beef? Because if there's one thing I'm good for in this, it is spitting mad ego. Everything else, it's up to interpretation. But that's the one thing I will do. So I'm just letting you know, if you want to ride this ride, it's not going to end well. Probably for me, but I'm going to save for you for my own pride's sake. So just keep that in mind. There, now we got to way back up. So we can continue downwards. Just, just, just think about it, all right? Just, you can get back to me. You don't even have to answer immediately. Just, just think about that right now. Can I take this? Wait, okay, so I can take this down a bit. Okay, torches. I need my torches. Where are my torches? Where are me torches? Here we go. Torch. 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 Okay. Oh, whoop. Okay. Well, I almost just did the jumps into the deaths. Okay, maybe we can't. Maybe we have to make our own staircase. Maybe this is thick enough that we can actually dig down a bit and then use some more blocks to... Oh, boy. Oh, I almost just went for it. Awesome. We're going to have to... We're going to try that idea. We're going to see how thick this is and just kind of make our own staircase down. That ought to be fine. What's the worst that can happen? It just, you know, leads to a dead end like most of this adventure has been so far? That's fine, because it's the nether. It's, it, it's cool by itself. It doesn't need... Okay, it needs to maybe stop that music, though. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that being a thing that's going to be accompanying us on this ride. There's really just me and, and, and nothing right now, and I... Ooh. I mean, as long as every time I dig down, there's still a block there, I'm fine. Because that means this case is actually... This might actually have been a good idea. 
Okay, so we're still near lava. Oh, oh, we're very near lava. So maybe this wasn't a good idea. Also, I need to make sure I save the pickaxe enough that we can get back to where we were to the point. Hey, torch. I could make the jump. I don't think that jump's actually that bad of a jump to try and make. I probably could do it. I actually could probably do it. Yeah, we could actually make that jump. Oh, I didn't know gravity was going to suck like that, though. Like, I went to run and jump, and we just fell. We just, we just fell. There was no, there was no, there was no, like, velocity. There was no, there was no range with it. There was, there was just, hey, fall. And I was like, hmm. Yeah, I think I will do the fall. Fall of what? All right, now we have a little bit of a staircase, and now I can build this out. I can feel a bit safer about all this. Okay, cool. Now we're down here. In which case, hey, hey, guess what? Torch. It's not so much for the lighting, it's... What the heck? What? Well, hello. You're not gonna attack me though, right? It's just a baby... It's a baby zombie pigman riding a chicken. And I just am like, okay. Live your dreams. You're in the you're like in the nether probably forever. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm I can't stop you. Or if I could, I probably still wouldn't. This, this is what I gotta see. What are you? What are you though? A magma block. So you're just like a magma block. I guess those are in the overworld too, when I think about it a bit. That probably isn't super new, actually. But Interesting. Also, how far do I really want to go before I turn around? That's a question I gotta ask myself a little bit. Oh, that's death. We know what we do about death around here. Find a way to do it. Um, so what is this? Why come there's like little entrances, kind of pre-built entrances like this? That's kind of cool. Dang, this just goes and goes, doesn't it? All right, we're just gonna build. Guess what? You guessed it. Torches. Where did I start? There's a torch up there, so I've kind of gone in a giant circle so far. I did all this work kind of just to get downwards, I guess. Boom. I claim this hill in the name of the USG. The United States of Gamerson. Or maybe GG Get Jinx. Or, you know, whatever the names you remember me by. Which, funny enough, one last story time involving Jacksepticeye. Recently, there was the game that came out where he is voicing a character. And what's funny about the name of the character is my first ever, or like my first real username was the Fire Godai FS. And it was pronounced that way because that's the way Google Translate said to pronounce it. And I'm trying to think about what is the proper way to say it. But the idea was, okay, so for those who already know the story, I had to write a story back in the end of middle school going into like, you know, junior high and high school. And the premise was you could write about whatever, anything. So what I did is I wrote about everything. I took all of my favorite shows and movies and stuff at the time and combined them into one universe. And then what I did with me and my friends was we all were inserts in it as well, but to not make us like hostage bait, I gave us all different elements as, you know, like powers to make us kind of useful. And so that's where the term comes from is because it translates to Japanese for element. So like the fire element, FS. FS stood for Fusion Series, which is what I named the thing at the time, was the Fusion Series. This was a series of fusion events that was going on. It was a whole fleshed out thing. I won't get into it, but it, it was cool to me anyways. Um, and that, So that's why I made my first name whenever I got onto Twitter for two reasons. One, when I made it, I thought you had to make a name that was 15 character spaces long. You couldn't make a shorter one. So that helped fill out the whole entire 15 things. Two... Uh, I didn't realize how hard it'd be to pronounce the name without that knowledge behind it because like my tweet would get on like the LCS for like League of Legends and stuff a couple times and it was I realized it was kind of difficult to maybe pronounce the name and I was like I don't want that to be a thing which is part of one of many reasons we ended up at GG get jinxed but still um, so it was interesting making this like I said he was going to be the thematic of this episode because speaking of Jacksepticeye he now voices a character that has the name Godai or Gade there's different ways to pronounce it kind of. Um, and, and I just find that kind of interesting how that lines up because that's the username that a lot of people maybe remember it's the OGs and will remember but the OGs but that's that's kind of I thought that was kind of interesting maybe maybe kind of funny but yeah we're gonna 
we're going to carry on. But I thought I'd bring that up because that's now where I see that term a lot. And it's like, okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But yeah, that it was a fun story. I, I, I fleshed it out across high school too. And I actually honestly, oh, what was that? Was that lag? Are there other people on this server? Is this a, is this a Minecraft server? Is that what this is? We're doing one of them, one of them group server things. Dang, where have I come from? There, okay. Uh, we'll just go up then. Up never hurts, right? It always hurts. Uh, but yes, that's that, that. I just thought that was kind of an interesting kind of a thing to see happen, considering we were, we've done this narrative, like I was saying about you know uh, name dropping and stuff like that. And so with this one talking about them, I thought it was kind of interesting how that lines up at the time of recording this video. That that I don't want to say the name of the game wrong. I want to say it's River City. Is it River City Girls? Something like that. I've seen some screenshots about it and stuff, and so I thought that was kind of cool. There are some, there are some definitely some unique shapes up in the nether. Like, what is this generating in the distance here? Oh, more demise. Awesome. Dang. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. Because, like, I was thinking about looking for, like, a, a fortress at some point. Which would be cool. I don't think I'm prepared for that kind of expedition considering I don't have a lot of arrows and stuff. I'd have to go back to the surface, fight a lot of skeleton archers and stuff like that. Which is something I'd definitely be down to do now that I actually have some armor that I could maybe do something with. But uh, we'd have to do that like between episodes or something. This episode has been a lot of just talking and exploring and seeing stuff for the first time. Because I, I really never venture into the nether. Ever. And now I have. And it's, 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 it's so far pretty cool. I actually enjoy this adventure. As long as we don't die to the lava, which is something that is very, very possible. Because the nether is like 90% lava, and the other 10% is like hopes and dreams. Oh, oh, okay. See, we got it, we got it, we got to not do stuff like that, me. I'm trying to cut the lava off. Like that. There's plenty of lighting down here that I don't need the lava to light up stuff like I would in an underground cave or something. I've also lost, like, I know where the coordinates are, but it's different in the nether, where it's like, you know where the coordinates are to get back to where you were. doesn't mean you'll necessarily be able to get back up there, because you got to climb up. Like, there's, there's top stuff, there's bottom stuff, there's lava stuff, there's just... This is some mushrooms. There's a surprisingly large amount of mushrooms in the nether. I guess, I guess they're also a Super Mario fan or something. I don't... I hate that. Oh, okay. We're just gonna keep going. Bye. Nuh uh. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. No, I think that means it hears me. Ooh, stairs. Natural generated staircase. Thank you. Does the music actually mean anything specific while we're in the nether, too? Like, if the music starts picking up, am I near something that I don't know is important, but, like, is important? Cause I would hate to accidentally skip over something and then people in the comments be like, Hey, you didn't see that thing in the wall that you should have clearly seen your first time up in there? Yeah, that was important, you, you dingus, you doofus, you dingleberg. Okay. Okay. I like that. Ooh, okay. Hey, we can get to that one structure in the distance that was kind of... Because it's not so much in the distance anymore. I just got to know how to build around lava. That's the only thing we have going for us at this point. Is we haven't... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, that thing fell down. It wanted to spit fire. It wanted to spit a mixtape. Denied. Super denied. Ultra denied. How do I get back to where I came from? Like, I like exploring, so I just kind of just go. But I never stop to think, like, where in this game. Because there's just so much to see. <gasps> Is this why the music was kicking up? I am going to have to end the episode there then so that this doesn't end up being too long because obviously now we have to explore this we gotta explore this
So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button, but I don't know which video will be next. We just have to wait and see. So till this time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching. Thank you.